What up folks, it's Alex here. I wasn't planning on making this video today, but Blackmagic have just released a new version of DaVinci Resolve. We now have DaVinci Resolve 19.1.4. Now this actually comes at a slightly interesting time because NAB is about two weeks away and that's when historically Blackmagic like to do that kind of real big annual release. It kind of comes out in beta usually around the NAB time and then goes live around IBC time later in the year. But this little update has come just a few weeks before and while it doesn't have anything major in here, well there's not loads of big major things but there is one thing which is worth talking about and that is that you can now encode in the ProRes format in DaVinci Resolve on Windows which you've never been able to do before. So we'll come back to that in a second. I haven't even downloaded it or installed it yet. So let me just show you how to do that really quickly. So one of the easiest ways, if you jump into your own version of DaVinci Resolve, you may get a pop-up will appear automatically. If not, simply click on DaVinci Resolve top left hand corner, check for updates. It'll see if there's one available. You can see there is one here and then I can simply hit download. Alternatively, jump over to blackmagicdesign.com forward slash support. I've put the link down in the description below for you. And then you can come to this latest downloads or to make your life easier, you can click on this DaVinci Resolve and Fusion software button here. That'll limit the downloads to just DaVinci Resolve stuff. And then you can see DaVinci Resolve Studio 19.1.4 and the free version as well. Once downloaded, just unzip and run the installer and you'll be on 19.1.4 and ready to go. And as you can see, what's new in 19.1.4? Well, the support for Blackmagic RAW SDK 4.5. We now have support for Samsung Log LUT. We've got network decode performance for large embedded AAFs, audio stutters when recording interlaced media, support for Photon, None of this is going to be particularly relevant to a huge amount of people. They're kind of niche issues. We've got the general performance and stability improvements as well. But as mentioned, the big one is this. Apple ProRes encode support on Windows and Linux. So why is that interesting? Well, there's never been any real limitations as to why you haven't been able to do ProRes exports on Windows in DaVinci Resolve. It purely came down to licensing as far as I'm aware. This has been a bit of a contentious issue, I think, for some time. So ProRes is Apple and they never licensed out the ability to generate ProRes files in DaVinci Resolve for Windows. But now that's no longer the case. So maybe this is because Blackmagic and Apple have been working quite closely together. We've seen Blackmagic appearing in some of the Apple sort of live demonstrations when they release new stuff. And we know they have been working on some of their 3D things together as well. You still cannot use Apple ProRes RAW, but this is a step in the right direction. Maybe this is the start of a new beautiful relationship and you're going to be able to use ProRes RAW on the timeline, edit it up, chop it up, do all the things you need to do on the Windows version of DaVinci Resolve. Keep your fingers crossed. It's not a format I personally use. I've never really encountered ProRes RAW, but again, I know that's been an issue for a lot of people for some considerable time. Now, there's something else really cool about this, which people may overlook, so let me show you. So first of all, what are you looking for? I'm in DaVinci Resolve. If I jump over to the Deliver page, at the top here, we've got a bunch of our presets, our render settings. This one is new, ProRes 422HQ. So if I give that a click, you can see we now have Apple ProRes. We have the type, so we've got 422, 422HQ, LT, Proxy, 4444, and XQ. The other thing that's interesting is if I just open up my Blackmagic Proxy Generator, which you will have installed on your system. It comes part of DaVinci Resolve. If you're on the free version, it will be the Blackmagic Proxy Generator Lite. Now, previously, you only had these top three options. 264, 8-bit, 420, 420, and 265, 10-bit, 420. We now have a new option. This was available on Mac previously, but it's now available on Windows as well. ProRes 422 10-bit. So this is a really high quality proxy format. 
So if you use that when you're generating proxies, it is a little bit bigger than the 264 and 265. It's a fair bit bigger actually, but your proxies will be a really nice format. It's 422 and it's 10 bit. So you get really good sort of color reproduction and your things won't break down if you're trying to grade them or give your footage a bit of a look. And you can edit that on the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Windows. So as I'm sure a lot of you are aware, the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Windows is quite often limited depending on the codecs and stuff you're using to 8-bit footage, but you can edit ProRes 422 10-bit on the free version of DaVinci Resolve on Windows. So it's a really, really nice format kind of for everyone. And now we can use the proxy generator on Windows to generate in that format. Winner. So that's it. Get it downloaded. Have a play with it. I haven't really tested it yet. I've just downloaded it and installed it now. But have a play with it. Let me know your thoughts and feelings down in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.